Here's the taillight assembly on this 2010 Kia Sportage. So here's here's my new one. But here's the old one. I'm going to take it out. So I got my you got, first got to open up the hatch to get at these screws. There's two screws right here. There's one there and there's one down there. I've already kind of loosened them. I'll have to do this more. Put these screws aside because you'll need them at the end to put the new one on. Okay, so this is loose now. You see now the other end over here, there's a little notch that the light goes into it. So you gotta pry this open. It feels, it kind of, when you do it, it kind of feels like you're hurting it, but you're really not. So there, I pried it loose. You see there's these two, there's this notch right here, and there's one down here. And you see on the light itself, there's this piece right here goes into here. And then this piece right here goes into here. So that's, then I'll get it back in when we're ready for the new one. So there's this, this is the piece that, the wiring piece. You gotta push this, this little tab right here, you gotta push that in quite a ways. And then you could pull out the whole, pull that apart, pull that off. So now your whole piece is loose. You can take it off. And you can grab your new one. And like I said, you first you gotta first you gotta put hook the wiring up again. So find your little tab. This little tab goes up, so you slide it in there until it clicks. And then you so over on this side, you find your two tabs. So the bottom tab I got it lined up. Let's see down in there and then here's this top tab right there so I'm going to line those two pieces up there so that's in and so now it doesn't really feel like it's very tight but you just put in your screws let's see so right there is not quite Lined up right, make sure it's pushed in all the way. Okay, got that started. As you screw that in, it's gonna kind of lift your whole assembly. Actually, it seems like I'm out of the, um, not quite lined up right. So I'm gonna go back and check that and line it up. So actually, once you get these screws in, you're done. And then you wanna go, you know, check your brake pedal and your turn signal, make sure the lights light up when you use them. But basically, that's how you do it for a 2010 Kia Sportage. Thanks. I bought this light on eBay for about 80 bucks. So they're out there.